Today we're going to be looking at this multi-tool or keychain knife, Ant Design Pathfinder Plus. Standard utility blade, bottle opener, ruler, pry bar, nail filer, glued and dark marker, bit driver. All right, let's unbox it. The Ant Design Pathfinder Plus, a keychain multi-tool knife. Pretty cool, I found them on Instagram, Ant Design Official, that's what I saw. And it looked like they had a pretty cool knife design, so I checked it out and it is a knife with different extra multi-tool features. They also have a Facebook page, it looks like, Ant Design, and the website is antdesignofficial.com. Okay, so it seems like, I, I'm not really familiar with this Ant Design company, this brand, and it looks like they have multi-tools. They have, or this this is their multi-tool. They have some fidget items, uh, some kind of ruler. It looks like it's kind of coming with just starting. Anyway, this is the knife that they have, which they refer to as a multi-tool. Uh, this one in particular is their all titanium version, and they seem to have a other ones. They have brass and a Timascus one, and I'm assuming they mean maybe Timascus, the insert. This seems to be like an insert that they use. So price, it was cheap, so pull the trigger, why not? 55 US dollars on sale. I'm not sure of how long the sale is. So 55 US ship, I mean sold. End of review right there. <laughs> and uh, so brass 40, Tamascus 85. I think those are pretty good prices for some kind of like multi-tool ADC item, especially of this material. They have some pouch, a leather pouch for five bucks. So all like really affordable prices for whatever they're offering. So dimensions, let's talk about it. 62, when it's closed, 62 millimeters across, 12 millimeters this way and seven millimeters that way. And then when you open it, about 73 millimeters long, 12, seven, all right? So nice and compact for the keychain, or I guess for wherever you want to put it and lightweight. 12 grams, this thing weighs 12 grams, so it feels like um, maybe like a couple coins if I had to guess. Let's go over the tools. Standard utility blade, it's like an exacto. Typical like art student type of knife that you usually find inside art stores or stationary stores. Continuing on, bottle opener, let's see. Yep, bottle opener pops open like that. X bit driver, quarter and one six, so we have this size and this size. So that's like kind of like your standard size you find in like a like screwdriver set that you find like in Ikea or et cetera. And those small little Weeha ones that you use for those little micro bits they use for like disassembling knives and stuff like that fits in here. So actually pretty cool you have that and that. And it seems like there's extra hole on the side. I'm not sure if that's meant to be a key ring or something like that, because guess what? It doesn't come with a key ring. So figure that one out. Okay, continuing on, ruler. We have, let's see, millimeters right here. And then we have inches for a Western folk. And then pry bar right here. You can see there's a little notch, I guess, for the screw. Probably a very small screw, but you can pry with it. Nail filer. I don't know any guy that uses a nail filer, but it's there. And Victorinox offers in their little keychain multi-tool, so uh, why not? It actually feels, yeah. There's actually grit. It actually feels like you can do your nail. Glued and dark marker, excellent. It's good to have a any kind of marker, whether it's tritium or glow in the dark for a keychain, so it's easy to find in your book bag, or you can clip this on the on the outside of a EDC bag or something like that, so you can find the bag. If like your keys are inside your bag, it's easier to find. This kind of stuff, having a glow in the dark marker is excellent, and it's included. So nice little design, and then they say fire. Figure that one out. I have no idea why this is a fire tool. Maybe they they, they mean that you're making feather sticks like this way, and then you're going to use this as a striker. So I can feel the body and it feels like well chamfered and nothing, no hot spots, except for like this little edge here. If I pull here, I can feel it on the inside and here. So yeah, I have been a bush crafter in my old life. And oh, yeah, I would say nice you can strike a ferro rod, fire steel with this end if you wanted to. So that's the tools that they offer. Inside the box, you get some extra spare blades. That's nice, so it's all ready as a gift, ready to go. You got extra blades, you have some spare parts, extra screw, I guess if you strip it, an extra spring. And that's for actuating the, the knife into the lock and unlock position, as you can see this way. 
and then goes like this way and then you slide it into the different notch three notches okay so like that tool to take out the blade as you can see inside right there okay so like ready to go if you're going to get this as a gift so let's just go into the pros and cons of this thing pros exacto knife i'm gonna say you gotta own exacto knife seriously they're like probably one of the sharpest blade that you can possibly get that's like kind of stock that you didn't have to resharpen yourself or hone yourself i can only imagine a doctor would have a sharper blade because they have like surgical knives they're really great because not only they're sharp from stock they also have a very sharp point and that's really great when you insert to cut anything i mean even just like a snack bag it's super sharp to and super easy to cut. It actually feels comfortable this way. If you had to articulate and do some kind of intricate cutting for some kind of, I don't know what, artwork or whatever, you have that. So it's exacto knife, it's so super cool. It's definitely sharper than, for example, like a utility blade like this. And it's even sharper than like your, any kind of like your stock, stock knife that you have because the profile is like very thin, as you can see, super thin. So just a really wide edge. Super nice. So if you don't have an X-Acto knife inside your knife collection, you should really invest in it. Very nice. And I like that they have different settings for it. So you have three. We have the first, first, second, and third. I don't think the second is actually useful. It actually has no function, in my opinion. I think the first one fully deployed, you get the full use of the knife, the full blade. I like the first mode. I think second is just kind of useless. But it's just there. I like this mode because what it does is it actually protects most of the point and everything and the blade. And what you get is like you know, like a safe use of this blade. Maybe if you're like a fisherman and then you just didn't want to stab your friend. <laughs> you don't have to have it all the way out to cut like a piece of string or your fishing line rather. So cool. I like I actually like that first this kind of first safe feature setting and this full setting like that. So that's kind of like a cool little like detail that they designed into this. Okay, moving along. So keychain size and weight. Yeah, this thing is small. I think it's a bit thicker than I'm used to because I'm actually used to a very thin kind of a um, keychain knife. Definitely my most used knife. So if you have like a keychain knife, I'm telling you, it's going to be your most used knife. So it's like something you should consider getting because it's actually very useful because you have it with you all the time. Hence EDC. The keychain size is, is very, very small. I mean, you actually can just like use it as a keychain. You can use it on a zipper pull if you wanted to. You can hang it on your neck if you wanted to. These things are so small. And the, the weight is like so much better. If you can imagine having like a multi-tool with like the bottle cap and everything like that, just compare it to. So we know that this is 12 grams. If I were to zero out like this kind of pry, I, it's a bit bigger and bigger uh, bottle opener but that's like this is 20 grams by itself it's not even a knife or anything it's quite simple so you can imagine this is actually more useful and being lighter and everything like that here's a much heavier multi-tool it obviously offers much more uh, uses but you can imagine trying to carry this on your chain 55 grams this thing is super heavy if you're a runner this this is super heavy to have if you have that on your car keychain this pulling on your ignition this is super heavy that's why i don't even carry this as a uh keychain it's like i put this like on this kind of holder so i can just slip into the pants this thing is like super lightweight it's awesome multi-tool function yeah cool it has a couple of multi-tools bottle cap prying these tool things are super useful let me tell you when I travel, sometimes I would like to bring a full-size knife, any kind of full-size knife, just say like this one, Benchmade Bug Out. You should bring not only a sharpener, you have to bring a sharpener and you have to bring the tool bits for it just in case, even if you don't even plan on taking it down. I mean, because you might have a situation where it gets a bunch of crud in it. Could be food, could be wood, or could be anything else. You need to take down the knife. You really should bring the bits, whatever bits that go with the knife. You can actually fit the, these bigger ones like you usually find for like these Ikea sets like this. You can fit this, bigger ones, and you can fit the smaller ones like usually fine for your knives. So that's cool that you have these two bit sizes that this thing can hold. So this actually, as a multi-tool, it can replace this and this. This, let's add that. It's supposed to be a prying tool. So it has like, and then it's a knife as well. So put in this, imagine what this weighs and compared to what this weighs. So 
the multi-tool function is quite good. Okay, moving along. This has a glow-in-the-dark marker on it, and that is super useful if you're using for keychains, zipper pull for EDC bags or anything like that. So you can imagine if actually going to like the movie theater and you're trying to find your EDC bag. This is perfect. You can see it glowing nice and subtle and then cut open your snack bags like this way. Quite cool to have just for your keychain or for your bags to have some kind of marker like a glow in the dark marker. It's super useful whether it's like a dark place or whether your keychain is actually inside the bag where it's completely dark. Awesome. And also I like their unibody design so I think this is going to make it much more stronger if you had to pry or pop open the bottle top. It looks like the only moving part is this knife part. Actually you could just if you wanted to take this on a plane, you can actually just remove the knife. And this is actually be pretty useful by itself. Without the knife, it still has many uses. So I like the Udibody design. It looks like it's very strong, very smart design. How about the cons? It's the tool blade replacement. I'm definitely a fan of like toolless ones so you can take the blade out without tools. Obviously that's better. I like that because you can take out the blade in emergency. I wouldn't say it's a complete deal killer. I would say that you can definitely check this into your luggage. That's something to consider. If that's a deal killer for you. I still think I would want to keep this for traveling for sure. Con number two, that's supposed to be a keychain multi-tool, right? So it didn't come with a, a split ring or anything like that. And I'm not sure if this was, it doesn't really tell you how to load it up on a thing. Actually, if you had to put a split ring and this, if these holes were designed for that way, maybe it was designed for a necklace. You actually lose the function of this. So that's something I had to consider. So I thought about it. I thought, what's the best way to carry this on a keychain? And that is with carabiners. And I think it's actually a pretty legitimate way to carry it. So grab one of these, clip it on like that. And voila, this is easy to clip onto your keychain just like that. So yeah, it's a, uh, this is, this is going to be the way you're going to have to do it. Either use a, this kind, or you can use like this, test your own carabiner. And this can also be an easy way to clip it onto your keychain or clip it onto your bag. I think this is the best way to carry this because it'll allow all this to be free or you buy their $5 leather pouch. You can do that as well. Last and not least, con is this nail file. I'm just kidding. I don't know. I, I always feel nail files are silly, but you find them on multi-tools. So I guess people use it. It's just not me. Okay, so let's go on to the conclusion of this thing. Who's this for? I would say this is for EDC people. I always say EDC people, of course, because what fits for EDC? It's definitely use. It has to have some use. It has to be small and has to be lightweight because the whole idea is that you're, you're trying to carry something useful every day. So when it's small and light, it's it just kind of guarantees that you're going to carry it every day. And then in that way, would be useful definitely for EDC person traveler I like the like I said before about the tool bit thing love the idea of a traveler or outdoorsman if you have your knife whatever different type of knife you own could be this could be that could be this I, I like the idea of having this for the tool bits to have maintenance on the knives it's just much cooler so I can imagine if you're outdoorsman you're doing like a long trip like a camping trip or something like that and just you have to carry some kind of maintenance tool for your folding knife that you're bringing then this is better I think it's better than just carrying a normal holder this is boring this is cool. Continuing on, fishermen. I like the safe mode for fishermen. Like that, that is awesome. It's nice and safe. You're not stabbing your friends on the boat when you're cutting the fishing line. It's kind of cool. Giltek Ruck has a, something similar like that where you can chop the fishing line like that. So I like that. That's a smart feature. So the fact that it has multiple settings, perfectly cool. How about the alcoholic, man? I tell you, that was the deciding factor for this. It was about like a week or two ago and I was inside a convenience store looking for some booze and I saw some hipster booze thing I wanted that was in a bottle and actually the convenience store didn't have a bottle opener and so I actually was I was stuck on whatever cans I had because I actually didn't have a bottle opener shame on me having it like a bottle opener on your keychain is kind of cool I think so continue on how about a runner I'm telling you you don't want to carry heavy stuff on your keychains you can't carry this it's too big and these are just all full-size knives so this is nice to have this very small and lightweight knife. So you have the knife and the tool when you're running because you just need something very light to continue on. How about multi-tool user? I think if you know anyone who has Leatherman's, they have a uh, Victorinox or Gerber or any type of other multi-tool, I think they're going to love something like this. They, they already have that kind of mindset where they like a tool that has multiple items and they find themselves using it daily. I think if they have a multi-tool design on the keychain, I think they'll actually love this. It'll be a perfect gift for that type of person. And anyone over three years old, that's who this is for. <laughs> 
check out the box. Let's see. Warning. Oh, not for not for three year olds and under. But if you're over three years old, apparently this is for you. I guess it's a choking hazard. <laughs> I, I'm very curious on, on you guys, on what age you think a kid should have a knife. I know for my own niece, she got her Victorinox knife. I actually have it here. This, she got this from her Girl Scouts at 10 years old. So yeah, I'm curious for your own kids, how old should a kid be to have a knife? Apparently four years old in China. <laughs> or this designer in China. Apparently four years old is okay. Okay, so that's it. This is a, a cool product. Definitely love it. For 55 US dollars, really kind of a steal. I think for myself, I'm either gonna put this on my keychain using the carabiner like this, or I might just use this for on my EDC bag or on my hiking bag. So either one of those, it's probably gonna live on. Very cool. Zacto blade is one of the best to have. Super useful. I promise you, your keychain knife will be your most used knife. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.